I was funded as a research assistant and I had like this covers my tuition fee and I also get a monthly stipend with it. My name is Shanmuk Sarode and I did my bachelor's in technology from Sardar Vallabhai National Institute of Technology, SVNIT Surat. It, it is one of the NITs and right after my bachelor, so I did not work in between, I applied for MS in Mechanical at Pondi University and I started as a thesis, MS thesis program and after one year of MS thesis, I switched to a direct PhD. So right now I am in my fourth year of PhD program at Purdue University. Considering the program that I enrolled in MS Mechanical, I was not really sure whether I need to pursue PhD considering the time commitment of five years. But once I came to Purdue, I looked at the research facilities and the opportunity and the lab I was working in. I felt like this is the right thing to do and that is where I decided that I should pursue a longer research in this area. Even before as an MS thesis student, I had a research assistant position. So I did not pay fees uh, as a tuition fees as of such, but it, and for the switch as well, there is no additional fee. It is just transferring from one program to the other and the cost per credit, it does not change at all. And my switch happened within the department and within the university. So I joined as a MS thesis student, wherein like you have to do a research under a professor. So I already had a professor for my master's. And if the professor is willing to continue uh, or hire you for a PhD, then you, along with the professor, write an application to the department asking to uh, transfer my credits or transfer my program from MS to PhD and this way you can actually save on some of the courses that you need to take as opposed to doing finishing your master's and then doing a PhD. PhD program and the courses that you can select as a master's student and a PhD student are exactly the same. You have access to the exactly the same courses, except for the fact that in PhD, you have to finish a larger number of research credits. That is some credits that you register with your major professor every semester. And then after a semester, you get satisfactory or unsatisfactory based on the progress you make. So that is a bit larger in terms of PhD program. But yeah, the course based, like the learning that you do in Purdue University or attending classes are exactly the same in the two programs. Family was aware that I wanted to do a PhD and I had talked with them like but then they also agreed that if you are not sure of committing to five years right after BTEC, then it is better to, you know, go there, look at what it is there. Do I really want to do it? And once I had that uh, uh, idea of how things will be, I communicated well with them. I went back to India to discuss with them in person. And then I think everything was they were really encouraging about the decision. My GPA was 9.2 at SVNIT and my GRE was 320 and breakdown as 170 in quant and 150 in verbal. AWA score of 4 and my TOEFL was 102.
yes i was funded as a research assistant and i had like this covers my tuition fee and i also get a monthly stipend with it provided that i work with one of the like a professor to finish my thesis for 2 years i was one of the students that was looking for research assistantships considering the costs that are involved in like foreign education so what i did was considering my interests and whatever internship experiences that i had uh, i went through different university websites and here i want to point out that all these big universities that have like research funding they are willing to pay you they like i i am not one of the rare cases to get these funding there are several people who get it the the idea would be like what i did was after i got an admit i approached professors from the department saying this is my background and I mean i wanted to work with you you go through the website of that particular research lab and do you think you fit well and that is how i approached but yeah there is no wrong way in this like you can approach on linkedin as well so i had applied to total of 10 universities across three countries so i had tu delft from netherlands i had university of british columbia from canada and in the us i had eight universities i had admits in three of them so i would start with my admits for the university ohio state university university of southern california and i did not get into five of the other universities that i had applied in united states those were georgia tech university of michigan ann arbor university of wisconsin madison Virginia Tech and Penn State. 